Do you want to buy the best players in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? Well, if the answer is yes, don't buy FIFA points. Just head over to u7buy.com for your cheap, fast, safe and reliable Ultimate Team coin. Make sure to use the code RRB at checkout for 5% off. So, do you guys want me to build you your own personal squad builder? If the answer is yes, you're in the right place. If you want me to build you your own personal squad builder, all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps, alright? All you guys gotta do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications, alright? And once you guys have done that, take a picture, screenshot that, head over to my Instagram, follow my Instagram, and then DM me that screenshot of you following the steps. And once you guys have done that, I can then build your squad, alright? It's that simple, it's that easy. And then, you can end up like these guys. Yo, 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 what's going on guys and welcome back to another FIFA 21 squad builder on the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you a fantastic overpowered meta 500k team for you guys to use in FIFA 21. I'm not going to lie, a lot of the player prices right now have just shot up recently due to SBCs, but I've still ma managed to make a fantastic 500k team for you guys to use. So make sure you guys do smash a like on the video and also make sure you guys do click the link down below in the description, right? There's multiple videos in the description, like challenge videos, you know, you've got foot chunk videos, um, and you've got draft videos in the in the links down below in the description so make sure you guys do go ahead and check those videos out but anyways enough of the chit chat if you're new around here make sure you subscribe and turn on post notification and without further ado we're gonna waste no more time and we're gonna get straight into it let's get it all right guys so as you can see right now on your screens for this 500k team the formation that you guys want to use is the 4-3-3 4 variation right but this formation is just to simply get everyone on full chemistry so at the end of the video i'll show you guys what formation you can actually use in game if we do prefer using a different formation such as the 4-2-3-1 but we'll get onto that later on in the video but for now guys we're going to start for the front three and we're going to start for the right wing spot we do have a sweaty overpowered winger he goes by the name of Mohamed Salah all right make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Mo Salah Mo Salah all right because this guy is just absolutely fantastic and he's going to get the job done in that right wing spot the reason why I like Salah in this game is because he's just pure pace and pure agility his ball control dribbling his movement in the game is fantastic and he's got a wand of a left foot as they like to say his finesse shots and his shooting in general on his left foot is amazing all right he's a fantastic goal scorer he's a good creator in the game as well he's got the pace the skill moves for it he's just a fantastic player so make sure you guys go in and pick up Mo Salah I think he can do you guys a fantastic job on that right hand side and he hands down is one of the best right wingers in the game you know there isn't a lot of fantastic right wingers to use in um FIFA 21 and that's why a lot of people do use left wingers at right wing but um yeah Salah is definitely one of the best right wingers in the game so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but to partner up with Salah in the attack we do have um Lautaro Martinez right his inform I love this card a lot. It's a fantastic card. It's an overpowered card. It really, really is a great card, man. I just think Lauter and Martinez and FIFA is just su such, a, such a, so a solid card. I think this inform is great because his finishing is just something else, man. It really, really, really is, man. His finishing is really, really good. But not only that, he's strong. He's physical. His finishing is insane. You know, he's pace. He's got four-star skill moves and four-star weak foot. Like, there's nothing this guy is not good at. And that's why I just think he's an amazing player to have in that striker spot. And he, he just feels very, very good in game. So if you played with Lauter and Martinez, before you guys know what i'm talking about about man he is a fantastic card really so make sure you guys go ahead and get him but in that left wing spot to finish off this attack all right we do have another argentinian that plays in the Serie A. he goes by the name of Pereira. all right make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up and i've actually spelled his name wrong it's just one r it should be here there we go so where is it where where Pereira? how far that wow this is a big upgrade man this is a real big upgrade we're a little upgrade but yeah we do have roberto Pereira. um his uh what if card fantastic all right i like it kind of went under the radar i'm not gonna lie to you guys it kind of did go under the radar um not many people did use it but it's a good little card he's a little gem i like to call him right because he is a bit fantastic he's got four star skill he's four star weak foot very very good dribbling composure ball control a balance and agility some good finishing stats and his pace as well like he's gonna get the job done out wide on that left hand side so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and pick up ricardo Pereira. not ricardo Pereira. roberto Pereira. my bad um yeah good card and like i said he's got the four star skill moves and four star weak foot as well so he should be able to do you guys um a fantastic job so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Roberto Pereira but we're going to move on into the cam position and we do have another player that has just a fantastic left foot on him he goes by the name of Paolo Dybala all right again another left footer that just has a wand of a left foot um yeah this guy is just something special and he's finishing his finesse shots all right are just fantastic if you get lucky enough to like get a shot off outside the box without it being blocked then um being blocked then yeah you're in for a treat because this guy's long shots this guy's finesse shots just on the edge of the box are absolutely fantastic but the only issue is 
you know, with AI blocks in this game, it's just kind of hard to, for, for that to put, uh, put, uh, be pulled off because, yeah, I mean, just AI blocks in this game are absolutely ridiculous. But, you know, like I said, if you manage to just, you know, avoid an AI block, then boy... <laughs> this guy man this guy is shooting all right this guy honestly guys his long shots are just fantastic in this game especially when you're just cutting in on onto his favorite left foot and then just banging at top bins i'm telling you it's gonna work to a t um but yeah i like paulo diabolo in this game again because you know he's very very good on the ball he can dribble well very smoothly left stick dribbling you know you can turn in out in out very very quickly and just you know confuse your opponent so that's why i like to have good um high agility players and attackers he's also got four star skill moves as well so i think overall he's a good player to have but we're gonna move on into two of the two center mid positions and we do have in the left center mid spot a foot freeze card who goes by the name of rodriguez all right make sure you guys go ahead and pick up rodriguez the swiss foot freeze beast all right i'm not gonna lie a fantastic card um I like it a lot and again I think it is a little bit underrated because I think this guy can do a solid job you know in that CDM spot I've used him a couple times I haven't used him a crazy amount right I haven't used him a crazy amount but um yeah his card is is pretty good to be honest with you but I just can't remember what is his first name that's the question it's Ricardo there we go I remember there we go so Ricardo um Rodriguez make sure you guys go ahead and pick up his foot free CDM card a great card and as I was saying I think it's a good card to have in the midfield because his passing is quite good you know his long and short passing is quite good um he's got a decent amount of pace for a midfielder his dribbling isn't too bad at all his defending is fantastic so i just think that he's a very very good card and pretty cheap but he's very very overpowered so give him a try man someone a little bit different as well someone a little bit fun someone cool to use not your typical center mid that people go for so um again that's why i do think you guys should go ahead and try him um a great great card to use and a little bit underrated in my opinion but we're going to move on into the right center mid spot and in this position we do have Jorginho wijnaldum all right make sure you guys go ahead and pick up this man here the beast himself a fantastic box to box midfield all right he can attack he can defend he can pass he can dribble he's got four star skill moves four star weak foot what else does the guy need to have he's got everything all right so go ahead and pick up Jorginho Wijnaldum it's just that simple right it's just that simple he can do everything get Jorginho Wijnaldum but we're gonna move on into the defensive lineup now and in the left back spot guys we do have um Diego Dalot his future stars left back card make sure you guys go ahead and pick that card up all right it's a great card I like it is quite pacey good defensively he, he just gets a job done you know what i'm saying you know he's very solid um yeah so he, he's, he's just gonna do what he needs to do to be honest with you guys it's literally that simple you know as a left back there's not too much you can do you can only just do that job um on, on your side and that's what Dallas gonna do you know he's gonna hold it down he can always, he's a good option going forward as well because he's got very very good dribbling um agility balance ball control composure so going forward he is a bit a bit of a good asset to have um and that's why i like him as well because it is always nice to have you know fullback that are good and good and comfortable on the ball but also of course the main thing um is defending and you know his defending is fantastic so again make sure you guys go in and pick up Diego Dalot but to partner up with um Dalot in the defense in the right back spot we do have Kyle Walker all right um some may say he's better as a center back but I think in both positions he's a good option I do think he's better as a center back but you know he's also fantastic as a right back so make sure you guys go in and pick him up you know he's strong he's pacey he's good defensively he's just a very solid player the only reason people don't really necessarily necessarily like to have Kyle Walker at right back because he isn't as agile as someone like Samedo or even Dalot himself so you know he is a little bit stiff he's not as agile as like your wan as your Samedos and you know those kind of fullbacks but the best thing to counteract that is just to don't overcomplicate um things when you're in possession with Kyle Walker you don't want to hold the ball um on with Kyle Walker for too long right you just want to release the ball play it quick just play a quick pass and that's it you know Kyle Walker's job is just to defend win back that ball so yeah make sure you guys go in and pick up uh, Kyle Walker he's pacey of course as we know and defensively very very solid but to move on into the two center back spots now in the uh, right center back spot guys we do have a great player he goes by the name of Joe Gomez, all right? It's just that simple. Joe Gomez. What do I have to say about this guy, man? We all know he's a fantastic player, okay? We know that he's overpowered. Just make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up. He's pacey. He's just he's just a GOAT, all right? He is just a GOAT. So make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up. Defensively, solid. Pace-wise, just amazing. And just, yeah, a gr just a great card to have in FIFA. We all know this already, so just go ahead and get him. And then to partner with... Um, Joe Gomez, we do have a FIFA legend, all right? A FIFA icon, all right? It's not Maldini. He's even better than him. He goes by the name of Smaldini, all right? Make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Chris Smaldini. He's in form. Fantastic card, all right? Just remember the FIFA 17 Smaldini, all right? He was an absolute god. He was an absolute beast of a player. But 
all right make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up right he might he may not be the quickest but he is partnered up by someone like joe gomez so that's fine but defensively he is just an absolute goat man i'm not gonna lie defensively he's so good he's got 91 strength 86 aggression 86 standing tackle 85 slide tackle and 84 interceptions the thing is he's got good sprint speed he just slots he just starts off quite slow but you know he's a six foot four gigantic man he's a big boy you know just chris smalling can he, he, it's chris smalling he can hold his own he can hold his own he's a big lad so just make sure you guys go in and pick up um chris smalling all right small dini the goat himself and then in the goalkeeper spot to finish off this team there's only one man fit for the job all right it's an english goalkeeper and it ain't pickford it's nick pope all right make sure you guys go ahead and pick up nick pope we all know that he is just just fake in this game man he's absolutely ridiculously overpowered so just go ahead and pick him up he would do a fantastic job but as you guys can see right now on your screens this does complete it for the 500k squad builder the hybrid all right as i said the, to be honest in about two weeks this team will be a lot cheaper because right now player prices are just off the roof for some reason but i think this is a great team to use um you know while player prices are very very high so make sure you guys go ahead and pick it up but in terms of the formation you guys want to use in game it's going to be the 4 2 3 1 formation all right and in game you want to set it up just exactly like that all right so Salah on the right Pereira on the left Martins up top Dybala at Cam Wijnaldum and Rodriguez as the two CDMs that's how you want to set up ladies and gentlemen but most importantly importantly let me know what you guys think of this 500k team and most importantly as well click the links down below in the description and check out my you know my gameplay videos right don't just watch these squad builders watch some gameplay as well because i do want to provide you guys with some you know funny gameplay videos and just foot champs highlights as well so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and until next time peace